What surprised you the most going from one culture, Canadian business culture, to Silicon Valley? What surprised you the most? Um, L'enthousiasme. À Silicon Valley, il y a un buzz. On va changer le monde. We're going to change the world. The optimism, the relentless pursuit of innovation. Let's look for something big. Let's look for something that really is going to make the world a better place. It's a, and if it doesn't work, let's scrap it and let's start again. That's really Silicon Valley. You were talking about, you were talking about uh, R&D in your presentation. You said you haven't cut a single dollar of research and development money. I, if I'm not mistaken, your last quarter, you, you cut about $30 million. Uh, no. My colleagues in San Francisco were saying. Our, can you clarify what, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. the current position going forward? We continue to fully fund our plans for this year. So Google has, has R&D plans and has innovation plans. All of our core products, all of our core platforms, everything we had for and planned for this year is fully funded and we'll continue to pursue our agenda because we're building a business for the long term. What you may have seen is just accounting changes from uh, Q1 to Q4 because you may have a bit of less of accruals for bonuses that we talked about to the markets, but it has nothing to do with the agenda. So for 2009, R&D plans unchanged and go beyond that? I wouldn't even give guidance. Think no. of the principles of a company. Right? The principles of the company is this is an unconventional business that builds businesses for the long term and doesn't plan month to month, quarter to quarter. But you weren't supposed to present your uh, quarterly uh, results and then you started doing it. No, you have form. to. No, no, you have to. The minute you're a public company, you have an obligation. So we, we by being a public company, we re release our results. The as, guidance. But we have no guidance. If I could, just two questions. The whole question of street view, which has become very controversial. A lot of people are still uncomfortable with it. I know you're going to be blocking out faces and blocking out license plates, but still, you still have access to these people's images, and there's a lot of people who are still very uncomfortable about it. What do you tell these people who say it's an invasion of privacy? Okay, so first is Google is a real success worldwide. People love street view. It changes. It's yet another app. Think of the mission of creating information and giving the information to the whole world to make it a, a better place with better user utilization. That is, in principle, all of the feedback we get from Street View. Obviously, right, you need to protect privacy, and obviously you need to work with governments and local authorities to make sure that any concerns they may have, right, you have to answer them. And that's exactly what we're doing. That's why, for example, in some countries like Germany, where they've asked for more work with us before we launch it, we said, sure, right? And then the same thing. But you got to remember, 90, 95% or 98% in the vast, vast majority of places we show up, people can't wait to see the Google car in there. Now, obviously, we have technology to erase the faces. And it, by the way, it erases the faces of dogs and cats, too. So everybody's <laughs> privacy is protected. And, uh, and But we'll work with all the communities to make sure we get the right answer. How did they react to your um, to your cost-cutting methods down at Google, which is a company that was known for being freewheeling, anything goes, you know, no expenses too much? How did they react to your more orthodox financial restraint when you got there? I think that's a great myth. <laughs> I think that uh, thank you for the question, but it's not the way Google works. What we just do right now is we're in an economy that's very challenging, and in that economy, I told you a few minutes ago, we continue to fully fund all our agenda. Innovation is at the heart of the place. What we're doing right now is in a world that has so much uncertainty, right, where we can and should be prudent, we're just asking Googlers, Googlers, just be prudent, right? It's not a place that you come with a memo and you say, here's the new rule. Google doesn't work that way. 